me death. Grant me death. Release me from my shackles. That's because my mic was off. And PlayStation Network streaming is still down. <laughs> Let's do We are online here. Yeah, we got the green flood up. <laughs> that made no difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, what can I do now? I'm just going to look at it. I will, can you use your trackpad? This stream is shut up. It's not really a stream. It's more of a stream of consciousness. So let's have some story time with Tom. Story time with Mr. Murphy. Yeah, it's time. So uh, I'm gonna need I need a picture for story time. Story. Story time. Yeah. Uh, it's probably gonna be even worse. There we go, let's change that over. Yeah. Oh, that is massive. in the E for the minor. Put it there like that. Story time. <coughs> okay. Story time. I'm gonna need to change the words as well though. Text. 
bedtime bedtime stories for the crew still. Bedtime stories for the kids. I have plenty of stories. Yeah, we do. Well, it's not so much going to be story time, it's going to be, I'm going to give you some ideas, and I want you to rate them for me. I want you to tell me what you think of my ideas. I'm going to turn my mic up so you can all hear me even better than you. What? Yeah. So, I was thinking, what? Hey. If you fall asleep, that's cool too. I'm just saying one more time. Why? Because you just say you're tired and then tell the story. It's not. No, alright, none of these stories have to be real. They're just things I'm making up. <laughs> so, I was thinking today, when, <laughs> just before I came on stream, what if, like, don't get me wrong, I do feel bad when ladies do have to give birth, but imagine if men had to do it, but like, out the noses, like, a full baby, out the nose. <laughs> it'd be easy for you. It'd be easy, yeah, it'd be easy for me. <laughs> He'd walk out, would it? Fucking stroll out. <laughs> Next one. Next story. Okay. There was once a man. He was a very unhappy man. He. Yeah, that is painful. Anyway, it was. Well, this man thought, you know what? I can't cope anymore. <laughs> He had a name, no. and his name was Malcolm. Okay. And um, one day, Malcolm thought, I know, maybe I could get some like professional help from someone who really knows what they're doing. So Malcolm went to this, like, let's say a psychologist. In it, no, just a psychologist. He knew what he was doing. He went to this. Uh, yeah, Malcolm. It was Malcolm, and um, turns out he didn't really have a problem. He was just there for the attention, and he went back home and lived happily ever after. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, and anyway, let's think of other other stories. Tom, what 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 stories have you got? I don't have any stories. Sarah, what stories have you got? Josh doesn't. Yeah, it's true. Exactly. I told you I know. I do have stories, but just... Are you asking people for their stories? I'm not asking you for your stories. I'm asking you to recount tales of my adventures. Like a bard. Where's my flute? Oh, Hang on, I've got a flute somewhere. Where is it? What happened to it? Where's my flute gone? Oh, no. Oh, here it is. There was once a man, a wise man, 
he lived in a forest full of trees. And one day, the wise man asked the trees, All right, pal. What, 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 where, where do we go? What am I doing here? What's the point? What's the purpose in life? So, the man was given, well, the tree carved a piece of its own wood into a flute for the wise man. And the wise man sat under that very tree that day and played his flute all day long. And after about three days, a badger approached him. And the badger said, All right, you wanker, give me your flute. And the man said, Nah, it's mine. Anyway, the man killed the badger rather brutally. It was it wasn't a nice you know sometimes you do it nicely to te put an animal out of it. No, it was none of that. He got his shoe and he just clubbed it like he clubbed it until he could not club no more. Anyway, the man awoke from a deep slumber a few days later with the tree stood over him. And the tree was like, What the fuck are you doing to me, badger? And the man looked at the tree and thought for a while. <coughs> and after a couple of minutes of contemplating, the man said, he tried to rob me mate, I didn't know what else to do, I was in a bit of a predicament, so I used this flute, and, and then I used my shoe, and I just clubbed him, and I just clubbed him and clubbed him over and over again, but that wasn't the end. The tree then took his flute away. What did the man do? He thought, hang on. I have so I can I can I can make this better. I can make this better for everyone. I can make this better for you, tree. I can make this better for you, badger. I can make this better for the world. Maybe I can change a few lives. So after a couple of days of meditating under his a uh, different tree, not the same tree because the other tree was a bit pissed off at him because he killed his badger, um, he thought, right, here's an idea. I could save humanity by doing some kind of, I don't know, maybe 24 hour gaming stream. And he thought long and hard about what, what charity he wanted to, you know, support with his, you know, his newfound motivation. <laughs> and he thought, right, I work at a school. I didn't tell you the man worked at a school, but he does. Uh, he worked at a school. Um, it turns out this school just supported a charity. The Badger Trust, no. That had probably been a better idea for the man to support, but no. He didn't like the Badger Trust. He did not want to be part of the Badger Trust. He wanted to be something different. My viewings have gone up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Turns out this man worked at a school. And the school, you know, had a bit of charity going for it. So he thought, hey, I could do a 24-hour gaming stream for the charity linked to that school. So, after a couple of days, after a couple of hours, 
years, months. It came to the 29th of August 2017, completely unrelated. And he started doing this stream. He started streaming and streaming and streaming. And it got to about, about 10 o'clock and he was really, really tired. So, yeah, he didn't regret it. He was just, he was a bit pissed off that he started because he's raised a lot of money for a good cause. He has. That right? That was that was no. That that was uncalled for. Will you actually give me a tenner for charity if I stop blowing this? No. Mm. I don't do charity. Yeah, we'll stop. I will if you give me a tenner for charity. I'll never stop. That's and anyway. Where am I? Oh yeah. It turns out, do you remember at the start when it was like, alright, this tree gave this wise, wise, very wise, good looking man a piece of its own bark to make into a flute. There we go. Here is the flute. I am the wise and good looking man. And I'm here, I'm here for charity because I killed a tree's badger and I'm not happy with it. I'm not, not happy with killing the badger. But I am happy that I'm raising money for charity. So, it's now 12 minutes past 1 in the morning. What? How what? Are you dissing me, bro? You know, that poor tree should get a refund. Oh, oh. Um. Hmm. The, why? Why should the tree get a refund? He didn't give me any money. The tree hasn't donated. He's a bastard. Like... I asked him if he wanted to donate, I gave him the stream link, I gave him the opportunity to donate in school, and he was like, nah, he killed my badger. Wrong fucking way, that one. <coughs> tree's dead. Uh, fuck the tree. Yeah, fuck him, and his badger, his dead badger. I'm not high, no. I'm just really, really tired. It's a 24 hour stream. Like, I'm really tired. I've been up since 7. I've never stayed up past this before. My brain's just gone to mush. Basically. <sighs> no, I don't mean like that, Nurse Ratchet. But, no. No, I didn't mean it like that. Mm -mm. No way. Nope. What on earth am I meant to do now? I've got like, 7 hours and 45 minutes until I can stop streaming. And, like, I don't, I don't even know what to do anymore. Maybe maybe a flute solo might oh. maybe a flute yeah. solo might calm the atmosphere. That's cr a crude oh, in my. I haven't played one note of play. I can play many notes. Do you want to see this note? No. Hang on. Let me get me. Let me get my fingers over all. and it was short and I might even think about playing a game now yeah, <clears throat> yeah there are actually people in the room with me <laughs> yeah yeah there are 
You wouldn't thought it, would you? You wouldn't thought anyone would stay that long. Right. What I'm gonna do is <laughs> I'm. I had to give up long ago if I was on my own. Let's install this game. Portal 2. Really it does. The flute solo is beautiful. See? Told ya. You don't want to put me on mute though. That was a mean thing to say. I do. That was really mean actually. Right. Apparently, Portal 2 is going to take half an hour. So, um, another flute solo, anyone? <laughs> What? All right. I appreciate that. I appreciate your honesty, and no, honestly, I'm, I don't know what to do. I, you know, some would say maybe even throw the flute away at this point, but no. Who got anywhere by giving up? No one. And I'm not gonna give up. I'm a Tom. No! I'm gonna carry on practicing my flute! Play a game that I enjoy and drink coffee. Yeah, I'm trying to download a game that I enjoy. I would be streaming on the PlayStation right now, but PlayStation stream has just gone down, so, um. Yeah. <sighs> Let's play. What was that done? Oh, that, that could be a good one. That could be a very good one. If it works. Yes, let's play that. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, I could crimp. Carb a llama down, carb. I need two people for a crimp. Don't tell people about that. You do a four-way crimp by yourself. I do, I did do a four-way crimp by myself. What on? What, when the fuck did you start watching that? I was watching my accident. Whatever, you fucking loved it. Oh yeah. Subnautica. There we go. There we go. This could work. This could work very well. This is Subnautica. It's like, kind of like survival, but underwater, basically. So let's get started. Let's delete all my old saves. This is in, is it pre-alpha? Or alpha? Oh, okay, this is like nearly out, but it's not quite out yet. It's just early access.
No. We are, no, no this time. No. Not at all. There was even a little bit of hope in my mind that I'd maybe sleep off and go to sleep. But no. No, no. Ow. <clears throat> I appear to have woken up in a chamber with amazing music. Face drops. Running a lot smoother than it used to.
the box is. Fucker! You little shit. Let's see what I can make now. I got some fish. Got me some fishes. You passed it now. Me? Yeah. See what? Yeah, it's weird. Just, yeah, I'll see what I need to make from there, but I'll find it. Quartz. Oh, I need to find some titanium. <coughs> Why do you do that? What, like from the crash? Well, there we go.
found a few quarks so far. Oh, two tiny from Gora. Check and make. Pipe or a floating air pump. I've got acid mushrooms and they're everywhere. I've got a couple of them. Things now, yeah. Yeah, scan a lot. Need to, to make the knife. There's only oh survival knife. No, only survival knife. Yeah. Silicone rubber. And titanium. Oh.
I wouldn't say going strong. <laughs> Just going.
There we go. So I got locker. Oh. I can make a locker anyway. So if I'm <coughs> How do you drop stuff? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should still be there. Still be there. <laughs> I just need another drink. Yeah. <sighs> I think it's a five minute break. I need to walk around, get pumped up again. <laughs> you fucking buff.
Nothing. It's your thoughts. No, none of your face moves, just you. This one. <laughs> Stanley <laughs> went inside. <laughs> oh, have you got the cupboard ending?
The other one's asleep. Oh, I could stop being dull. You have to sleep with one half of your body. <laughs> Probably a lot. <laughs> You know what drink does to your tongue? Oh, the monster! 
たーろJust trying to shoot a portal like on like a surface that wasn't portable for ages. so real I get so motion sick. I don't know. Like I had that feeling like in the pit of my belly then when I was flying. <laughs> oh god. You just be like vomiting but the vomit would go in the loop for you so you just
start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. What? the idea of this. Going into the main break room with it. It's you. You know her? It's been a long time. 
Like, I, I, if it wasn't on stream, I'd have really enjoyed playing it. Not that. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of time.
to three. Staring at my screen. I don't know, she, she would. There's three people watching. Three people watching me like this, just doing nothing. Yeah. 
That's most likely. kind of see over slight obstacles. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. That'd be useful. That'd have been good in war. I know, but like, think about it. If they gave, if they made every man a periscope, it'd cost lowers, but if we just bomb them, it's free. It'd be like, But would you be able to like turn off the periscope? No. Because what about when you wipe your bum? I see you, man. Because you just have like a clean shot of your anus. <laughs> yeah, I'll check it. Though. Yeah, but you'd, you'd have to like, every time you go to the toilet, you'd have to look at your own shitty anus. I had a dream the other day about pocket bears. Yeah, like genetically engineered bears that go in your pocket. They fight. Like with my, it was. No, like instead of world disputes, like they don't send bombs or anything. They just get the pocket bears to fight on their behalf. Like grizzly bears, but miniaturized. No, like say me and you, like I don't know, I'd I'd had a disagreement. I'd get my pocket bear out. You would get your pocket bear out. Put them on a table and just watch them fight to the death. And they're like, who's ever pocket bear wins? They're obviously the better keeper, therefore better person. It is kind of like Pokemon, except every it's Pokemon's every Pokemon's a bear. You don't keep them in balls; you keep them in your pocket. Like I even mm -hmm. thought about how you'd keep them alive, because they're genetically engineered. They live off pocket fluff. What's the That's what you put them back in when they've had a fight. No, yeah, but the bears know they can't survive out of a pocket. Like you don't see bears just wandering around where they can't survive, do you? They know where they, do, you know. What about like holders? What do you mean? Yeah. That's because it's warming up, and they know they can't survive there anymore, so they'll move on. Pocket bears don't. All they want to do is fight. Other pocket bears, not humans. Other pocket bears. I also have to, I would do, like, if you washed your jeans and you left your pocket bear in. Because, like, pocket bears, are, I'd imagine they cost about five pound. Yeah, a little tiny bear. Like, do you know, like, your phone fits in your pocket? About that big. Yeah, but it'd stop a lot of the world's problems. No, they won't throw them. They'll place them on the table. And I also, I'd have to set up like a charity to stop like people who just want to hurt the bears, because there's bound to be those people. NSPCPB. National Society for Protection of Cruelty to Pocket Bears. Yeah, but everybody wants to hurt pocket bears. What? Everybody wants to hurt pocket bears. No, they don't. They do, they do for fighting. I know, but other pocket bears only want to hurt pocket bears. Yeah, but that's so cruel. 
No, it's not. That means like, you, yeah, you don't want to hurt Simeon's view. Yeah. You don't want to hurt my, your copy but you want to hurt mine. No, because that's what they're made for. That's what I mean, why, why prevention of cruelty though, maybe it's not. Because it's it's nature if it's other pocket bears, it's nature doing that. They are, but it's kind of nature, they're like miniature bears, they just ate each other. You can. We're just speeding, we're just speeding up um, evolution. I am. I had a proper dream about it and everything. But there is a problem of like, you'd have to buy a new pocket bear every time you fell out with someone if you're lost. Mm. And they'd be like a ring of like steroid injected pocket bears. And then pre I'm pretty sure soon people would buy like full size bears to battle pocket bears just so they win. Yeah. But full size bears, you know, they're hard to take care of. They don't live off pocket fluff and they're, they're a bit big to keep. How do you get pocket bears? You grow them. Yeah. Technically they are. But it's just the name Tom. Fucking pocket bear. I want to go, what, it would buy a fucking pocket plant. I don't know. No, I wouldn't. It's on shit. Pocket yeah, bears. They do have a mind of their own. Exactly. It's comfortable. And if they do have a short life, it's a happy one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's your job to breed like the best. No, it's not. I bet if you were bred for like fighting. Yeah, they can. No, they can't if they want. They just they can't reproduce. Unless you're friends with no, your you can't keep adding rules. I can't. It's my idea. No. I'll do what the fuck I want. No, you can't. You're a can't. It's against the laws of physics. It's not. It is. Listen, fuck off. Mm -hmm. If I want to make pocket bears, then I will. Yeah, Alright, what's your fucking good idea then? Just get out of the contradiction. I don't want to. I'd rather keep her. No, that makes sense. Basically, that's what I do. No, that's just fucking ripping off my idea. No, mine's a vegetarian. Vegetarians would have pocket bears. No. Yeah, they would. No, it's not. It just be in a world where that's just normal. I didn't breed them. I didn't breed them. I paid other people to breed them. No, other people bred them. I just gave them the money. Like, how? When your pocket bear does, because you won't have to buy a new one if they grow. You just have to, like, when it dies, it must, like, decay into a seed. Okay. And you plant the seed, and you get another pocket bear. One seed, one pocket bear, or you plant twins? No, you'll get twins. There's a chance you could, like, get more than one, but most of the time, it's like, it's not like potatoes. Yeah. Like, they grow underground, so you have to pull, like, the plant out and pull the pocket bear up. You can die him? Well, no, I mean like, we can make it so like the fur is different colours. Yeah. Purple pocket bears. <laughs> if you just change the colours. 
No, I am. Like, if we're genetically engineering bears, why not fucking make them purple? Why not just make them a colour range? Where do we stop? That's the point, that's why I don't think we should get into this. Where do we stop? I don't know where we start. Exactly. We, should just we shouldn't have even started. That that could be cute. Right, yeah. They're for like little they girls then. Just... No, no, no. Koala pocket bears. They're for like little girls. And panda pocket bears. They're for like training. If you can't take care of your panda pocket bear, then you can't have a real pocket bear when you're older. It's like when you get your first mobile phone. Yeah. Like that's a bit of trust you get, and you know if you don't take care of your phone, you're not gonna get. It wouldn't make sense to have panda pocket bear as a star pocket bear. Why? Well, panda like extinct. Yeah, but they won't be if we made them into plants. We'd be fucking everywhere. No, because there's going to be a strict rule of one bear per person. That's still, what, eight billion pocket bears? Yeah, I know, but they'll live in your pocket, you won't really see them much unless you're having a fight. They won't, they won't, because they don't, it's not a pocket bear, it's not another pocket bear. Yeah, what if they just evolve? They don't. That's the beauty of it. They just don't evolve. No. Like, this is as far as they're going to evolve, like... And at the end of the chain. Yeah. They live in pockets, they'll eat your pocket fluff. They don't need anything else. Repercussions of the act. I know, but thought pocket bears are sobered me. stop though because like we'd have pocket bears but then sooner or later someone will want like a pocket giraffe well, I think we should, no I think we should only do like a market of only like pocket bears though. pocket bears does sound good doesn't it yeah. like pocket chimps oh. pocket. pocket pandas pocket badgers that's yeah but that, I think they'd be a bit too aggressive because really bears aren't that aggressive, really, are they? Sure. They're not? Yeah, they are. I find they make them fucking teddy bears. <laughs> bear. No, I don't. Uh, They're not, though. Unless you piss them off. Yeah, yeah. Or you've got some food that they want. Just leave you alone. Oh, that could be a problem. Yeah, it's fucking strong. What about if the pocket fluff becomes low? That's what I mean, like, if you want your pants. You have to like buy packs of pocket fluff and put them in your pockets for the bear. Well, they eat no, just pocket fluff. Mm, like, so you can drop like, like, crumbs. What about, like, yeah, little bits that just get embroidered within the fluff. Like, crisps They can't eat crisps, no. That's no, just I mean, stupid. Oh, okay, if the crumbs is like embroidered in the pocket fluff, they have no choice really. They don't mind that. Maybe that's how like people breed like the best pocket bears, like they lace the fluff with stuff. But like for a pocket bear you'd have to 
the injection of is so precise because it's so small. Yeah, the whole That also goes to the problem of some people don't have pockets. So I know, but some people go out and don't have pockets. So where do we draw a line of making pocket bears and making bag bears? You don't actually deserve a pocket bear. You don't, yeah. You're not trying. What do you mean, pocket bear pants? Yeah. Or like a pocket bear compartment? Yeah. Or like you could just have one giant pocket. It goes from like the left side all around your ass. Like inbuilt housing for the yeah, pocket bear. Yeah, you just roam about. But you'd have to be careful in case you sat on it. You would, yeah. Let's go around the front. Yeah. I'm gonna look at the piece. I'll just look at it. Okay. If it looks nice, I'll eat it. <laughs> I'm scared now. Like I'm scared myself. What? I, I think she might actually try and stop me if I go over there. I think she's got like a sixth sense. It's just cramped. I know, but she might grab me.
shit, I think I need to restart the internet. Being gay. Up and restart it now. Awesome. It's just not.